Hello, my name is Phil and welcome in my workbench. Today we will be reviewing this 5 inch all in one DVR, which codename is TE981H. So let's get started. So let's unbox now together this uh, 5 inch DVR. So you can find in the box the screen, which is nicely packed with uh, plastic protection. Also, you can see the SMI connector. Also included in the package, you will find, in my case, I also ordered a little uh, camera with 5.8 uh, transmitter. So, this is included. I've got here a pinwheel antenna. So, this will nicely suit directly on the DVR, like this. Nice, but the notice, the charger, so here in front we've got European charger and the main functionality which I really love with, with this screen is this sun shield. So it's really easy to install, so just push it down like this and take it down and here you are. Now we have got a 5 inch screen with a nice integrated sun shield. So just to finish what's in the box we've also got a standard uh, 5.8 antenna, a USB cable to take the data to your computer and some usual cables to extract data directly from the FPV monitor. So here you've also got another type of cable. One feature that I really like on this DVR is that the SMA connector that you can see here allows to use a uh, pinwheel provided by the supplier or you can also use your usual antenna that you use on your FATSHAC goggles. So in my case I can also use this one so it's compatible you just have to screw your antenna directly on the screen like this and off you go. You can order it for a few range of frequencies. Mine is 5.8 compatible but you can also ask for 2.4 or 1.2. So a quick view concerning um, compatible frequencies. So it's a 32 channel DVR. In my case I use it with uh, fat track frequencies which are noted here from A1 to a7, but you can also see that all the other B, C and D uh, frequencies are compatible with this DVR. So for the purpose of this demo we are going to take off this sun shield and now I can show you how to use this DVR. So you can see here you've got a few buttons, so left, right, go back enter or take a photo and power. So in order to power this DVR just keep this button for a few seconds and here we are. So now you can see different indications so we can now choose we can choose the, the frequency using both buttons here. So now we are in A2, A3, etc. For the next part of the video I will show you uh, the display from my FPV pane over there. So you can see here that I can move uh, the camera with a pan and tilt. From here we are. So you can see that I display the screen of the camera. So this is when I move the pan and tilt function on my radio control. So just to show you the various menus from the screen. So by touching this button I'm going here and then entering the functions I can choose the different channels. So A is the fat track frequency so it's perfect for me. Uh, you can choose different options so uh, recorder resolution, frame rates, video segment sizes, overwrite. So I choose no as I don't want to overwrite my previous videos on my micro SD card. Timestamp isn't required either as I already have got time informations 
on the OSD, I've got on the plane. Information display is uh, a functionality that I uh, choose to deactivate as uh, already told you uh, I have an OSD on the plane and I don't want the OSD from the screen and the OSD from the plane at the same time so here you can see manual and the timestamp that comes a few seconds and here you so now we are just going to have a look at the system functionalities so date time can be adjusted language can be choosed in my version you can choose between english and different languages audio video art format the sd card power save firmware update default setup memory info version display mode so standard uh, configuration and uh, here is another item i wanted to share to you this is the te93 mini wireless camera with integrated 5.8 25mm transmitter so i will just plug this to show you how it works so this is a 3s standard uh, lipo battery so here we are, the transmitter has just turned on, you can see on the screen that it shows what's happening here. Here we are, so as you can see, the, the image is quite good. As you can see on this last video, uh, the screen on the first screen here is the old version. Of the screen that was proposed by uh, third eye company and you can see that the new one is much more bright so this is a real really good news especially when you use your screen in a sunny environment so so now to recall your flight footage you simply got to push this button here then you can see record is displayed showing that the DVR is recording your flight, so now you can go and have your flight. Once finished, simply push again the same button. Just to finish this review with you, we are just now outside, the plane is still inside. It's quite windy, but the sun is here. And as you can see with this DVR and the sunshade, you can perfectly see the screen while being outside. So this is a really nice DVR for FPV, outdoor FPV purposes. So I hope this review will have helped you and see you next time. Bye.